everybody. I wanted to do a new little video today about a topic that I don't think we've ever really discussed before. So I thought I'd um, throw this out, and that is how I use SCAT, specifically um, when it comes to coyotes, but we'll talk about other things as well. But generally, um, where I'm most using coyotes or, uh, or SCAT is with coyotes, mainly because that's the main target species that I'm after. And, um, and, and I guess I should probably preface that by saying um, really when we're talking about um, different species and trying to catch different species, I set, set specifically for specific species. So when I'm trapping coyotes, I'm basically setting coyote sets. Um, I'm not trying to set a, a trap or a set that will catch a fox or a skunk or a coon or a possum or even a bobcat, I'm specifically targeting coyotes. Um, if I'm targeting bobcat, then I'll specifically set a bobcat trap. Um, so there might be areas where I have bobcats and I have coyotes and I'll set, you know, multiple traps in that area um, with some being specifically for bobcats and some being specifically for coyotes. But a majority of my time is spent coyote trapping, and um, so that's what I'm going after. And, and that will be a majority of what we'll talk about today. Um, so how do I use SCAT and what, um, I don't want to say are the proper ways to use SCAT, because I think there's a lot of different ways to use SCAT, and you should use it in the way that it's working for you. If you're catching tons of critters, then I would keep doing it. Um, I'll just talk about some of the ways that I use it and some of the ways that I have found works best for me in my area or over, over time. So number one is I really use SCAT about three, maybe four different ways. Um, number one way that I use it, and I don't really do it that often in this particular um, respect, but if I do use this particular kind of set, I will always use SCAT, and that is some kind of a trail set or um, some kind of like a mafia type set or something like that. Um, I do use those sets from time to time, but honestly where I am, I don't do it that much. I wish I could do it more, to be quite honest, and on land where I can and I have the right location, I will do it because I think it's a, it's a fantastic way um, to, use, to use SCAT and to just give that coyote a, a completely different look a look at where that coyote really doesn't have to do anything to get caught unlike a flat set or a dirt hole or, or a t-bone um, something like that I mean the coyote really all he has to do is just walk in that area and you know that's where he's walking he's gonna hopefully get caught um, so that's the first place that I use it and then you probably are wondering well Dan why don't you use trail sets more mainly for two reasons number one a lot of the area that I trap is private ground and farm ground and I would say 90% of it has cattle. And where I find the best locations to set up trail sets would be on those cattle pads. And I'll see the coyotes that are running those cattle pads, you'll see their tracks coming and going and you're like, wow, this is, I mean, they're just running this trail. But what else is on that trail? And that's cows. And I've tried to set trail sets like that before, and it's it's a complete waste of time. Um, those cows are moving on those same trails that they created that the coyotes are now moving on, and you're not going to be able to keep those cows out. It, I get very it's very frustrating when you know two of the three days or three of the four days that you're checking traps. Um, your trap is set off because the cows are in it. So that's the number one reason I don't use that particular set that often. And number two is, um, is deer. Um, again, the same kinds of trails that a lot of times I will find the coyotes are using are the deer are using. The deer are the ones that probably put that trail in if, the, if it's not on land with cattle. And now you've got deer that are just working that trail constantly and I end up getting my trap set off by deer, you know, probably not as much as cattle for sure, but half the time, a third of the time, 
deer getting into my sets. It's, it's just, I, just kind of a pain. So consequently, I don't use trail sets that much. I actually really like to use them. I just don't have the opportunity that much where I'm on land where I can keep them out of the cows and out of the deer and, and get them on the trails where they need to be successful. Um, if I do find those kinds of locations, what I do with SCAT is um, I'll pick out an area and then I'll try to pick out an area of the trail that's kind of closed in a little bit. Like maybe there's a tuft of grass right here or a rock or um, a, a branch or a small itty bitty little stump or something that where the trail is running and maybe it's this wide or whatever and then it kind of pins them in a little bit. I'll try to find something like that, something that maybe juts out. That's where I'll put my trap in. And unlike a dirt hole that I use, the big showy dirt holes that I like to use, you, you need to blend in this impeccably, obviously. And I'll blend it and sift dirt two or three feet up on both sides of the trail, um, throw leaves around, throw grass around, try to blend it all in. Or, you know, so it's two or three feet up this way, two or three feet up that way. I've closed that in, I've put my um, trap in there. And then what I'll do is I'll use my scat and I'll put that scat upwind from where my trap is and I'll set it right in the middle of the trail. Maybe 12 inches, 14 inches away from my trap, upwind of, the, of where my trap is, right in the middle of the trail. And then I'll usually, um, if I'm using like a little clump of grass or something like that, I like to put like maybe just a itty bitty little bit of lure on that grass that's right in front of my trail. Because really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that coyote just to slow down with, when he sees that scat, just to stop him in that three or four mile an hour trot he's going down that trail, just to catch his attention just enough that it slows him down and then he kind of catches that little bit of wind um, of the lure and then he kind of moves right down that trail and as he moves right down that trail, hopefully I've, I've caught him. Um, that's the way I like to set up those trail sets. Um, I've seen other guys that do it the same way. Um, they're just a lot better at it probably and do it a lot more. Um, but that's the way I, I kind of like to do them. I just don't do them very often here because I'm just not, don't have the right location. So the other place that I like to use SCAT is both at um, dirt hole sets and uh, sometimes I'll use it at flat sets too, but more dirt hole sets than flat sets. And, um, and where I like to use that at a dirt hole set is two locations, not every time, not the same, and generally not two pieces of scat. I'll either put it on the side, and when I put it on the side, I'm doing two things. Number one, I'm using it to help get that coyote, get his mind and draw him to my set. And, and then secondly, I'm using it to help guide him. Um, instead of using a clod of mud or dirt or whatever else I'm using, I do not like using sticks. Um, I think I've said that in another video. I, I just don't think that works well for coyotes. Um, but if you can use a piece of scat to kind of help him guide, um, then that's a great way. And then the other place that I'll help him guide is to put it in that dead man zone. It's that little area right before your dirt hole goes down and right before your dog. Put it in that little, what I refer to as a dead man zone, um, kind of up in front of the hole, because what does that do? Every dog, every cow is gonna go sniff that scat, and when he does, and he puts his head down, and he gets up there close to sniff that scat, and then he smells that lure and stuff behind it, it's gonna keep his nose down there, it's gonna keep his feet working, and hopefully he's gonna step on, on, on your track. Okay, and the last two um, places that I will use scat is um, at a flat set, and um, I'll use the scat there, very similar to how I use it um, in a dirt hole, and a kind of a combination between a dirt hole and what I'm going to put it on the trail set. I'm using it to help get that coyote's attention, to slow him down, to stop him because I've, I've probably put a, a flat set in an area that um, I know that they're going to be traveling and as they're wheeling by I'm hoping they're going to see that scat maybe smell that lure that's coming off of that flat set and see you know the clump of grass or the stick or whatever I'm using um, 
to see it and want to mark their territory and they'll see that scat they'll come over they'll want to mark that they'll maybe want to leave some more scat they'll smell that lure especially late in the year where you're using like a gland type lure or something during breeding season they're going to want to mark that area so i'll use that scat not only to help attract them and slow them down but to really guide them as well because you can use it in in both respects at a flat set you can put it so that you can kind of guide their foot more toward where your pan and your trap is as well as um, catch their attention and i and then when it comes to a t-bone generally the way i do t-bones and i'm going to do a whole video on exactly how i do all these sets this coming season but uh, you've seen before how i like to do t-bones i dig a hole put my t-bone down in that hole basically so it's barely just sticking up kind of put a big pile of dirt and debris and stuff all over it, like something buried it, try to cover it up. That in itself is a big attraction. And then it smells that bait that's down in that hole with that T-bone and that lure. And, um, and then I'll put some scat usually on the side. And again, the scat of the T-bone is really probably more for guiding than anything. And um, also to help draw it in like, okay, something, another coyote left some scat here bark this territory and bury this t-bone now i'm going to steal it i mean jedda and athena it's funny you give them a bone you give each one of them a bone and they spend more time trying to steal each other's bones than they do chewing on the bone that we originally gave them they'll go back and forth back and forth they always want each other's bones canines are so funny in that respect they're they want what the other canine has even if they're not hungry or even if they don't necessarily want to chew that bone they just don't want the other canine to have it so they'll go get it i see it in my dogs all the time i think coyotes are the exact same way so to bury that bone use that scat to kind of guide that animal um, and get him more toward where you want him to step and also to keep him just a little bit more attention um, at your set um, as long as you can so those are really the, the, the four main sets that I use SCAT at and, and kind of how I use it. Um, do I use it at every set? No, I do not. Um, probably the biggest reason for that is, is I don't ever have enough SCAT. I pick it up, I look for it, if I see it, I stop, I get it, put it in my little container. Um, and how I carry my SCAT, if you're not used to carrying SCAT, is I put it either in a paper bag or I put it in a plastic container and I do not put a lid on top of the plastic container because if you do that, mold is gonna grow, it's gonna eat that, bacteria is gonna grow, it's gonna eat that scat up and then it's useless and worthless. So it's gotta have the airflow so it'll dry out and not, I mean, it's very humid here anyway and all that moisture will just eat that scat up. So put it either in a paper bag so it can breathe or put it in a plastic container like I use an ice cream container I just don't keep the lid on it. Or if you want to cut the lid in half or something, put half the lid on it, that'll work too. Um, you just gotta have some airflow to it. So, but no, I don't use scat at, I probably use scat half the time. You don't have to use scat. The times that I totally will always use scat is, a, is at a trail set. Because that is what is gonna slow that animal down and hopefully break its stride. So that would be the one set that I would use at it every time. Um, and then the other sets, a lot of my dirt holes, I don't use it at all just because I don't have enough of it or whatever. So hopefully that um, gives you an idea of how I use SCAD. Um, let me know if you're doing something different, if, I'm, um, if I am uh, missing something. And um, as always, if you're out on the trap line, be careful. Hope you're doing well. A couple more days. Well, actually it starts tomorrow here. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get out tomorrow or not. It's been raining here all day today. So um, I don't know when it's supposed to quit. If it rains all night and all day tomorrow or half the day tomorrow, I'm not going out to put traps in the mud. So I probably won't put them out till Monday at some point. But hopefully wherever you are, it's dry. And you got traps in the ground. You're catching critters. And hope this helps. So I'll talk to you soon. Be careful.